Hi, uh, my name is CJ Leung. I'm the designer of Crowdbreaker Alliance. Crowdbreaker Alliance is a tabletop role-playing game. It has a bit more of a group play focus. So, uh, in for example, in combat or other uh, critical situations, escape, chase, or anything, we facilitate uh, many various different forms of diverse form of gameplays. And also, uh, you know, it it encourages a sort of a clever way of problem solving rather than just hitting your enemies or rather than just um, doing things by the standard methods. So uh, this is the world, the world of Cloudbreaker Alliance, uh, the Cloudbroken world. What happened uh, 2000 years before this was there was a cataclysm that, uh, that caused a really large a uh, group of clouds to fall down onto this world and uh, inside the clouds there are monsters that devastated the whole world. And uh, there are various pockets of survivors who managed to uh, strive and survive and rebuild their society with new technologies and new civilizations. And they have uh, all created a new life for themselves. But you know, for unknown mysterious reasons, 100 years before uh, the current setting, the cloud wall separating a few different regions just mysteriously collapsed. And this gives them the opportunity to connect with long lost civilizations. And they are uh, going to find a way to move forward, to break through more clouds. And uh, they are going to explore into the clouds, find new long lost civilizations, make contact with them and uh, expand the alliance uh, to to pretty much deal with the monst monstrous sort of like danger and menace. This, this is an example of a character sheet. Uh, you can see that you know uh, there are quite a lot of uh, text built in. This is because you know, this is uh, for uh, uh, this is done for packs. Uh, usually, it's a bit less cluttered, and uh, there are uh, three aspects of a character. Something you can't change, your life form, that's what you're born with. Your character quirks, uh, something a bit like your personality that you develop through your adventure. So it's a bit of a way of storytelling. How your character grow, which is quite different from many other tabletop role playing. And also there are classes that you can swap. Uh, the skills that you learned uh, from a certain class can be swapped around as you change your classes. So it uh, has varied uh, Varied levels of uh, customization and allows you to uh, change your play style as you go. So it, it creates a bit more narrative when there is something that you can't change, something you can change slowly, and something you can change freely. So it's a new way of storytelling. And, and also, it is very easy to pick up. Uh, all you need to do uh, is to use two six-sided dice to play with this. You can also use tokens if you want, but they are not necessary, which means that if you have any two dice uh, lying around, you can play with this game. And the combat resolution, attack resolution is very fast. For example, this monster has eight, has eight defense. If you roll to attack it with two six-sided dice, you have a long sword that deals six damage, and you have two mastery on that long sword. You roll two six sided dice plus your mastery. Let's say you get 11. It means that you deal six damage plus the excess. Uh, 11 reduced by eight, that's three. Six plus three, that's nine. So in one roll, you resolve the accuracy to hit and also uh, the damage. So it's a very fast game, which means that it allows room for a dynamic sort of role play. And also it leaves more room for interaction between other players. You can start strategizing, sharing your uh, resources as spirit tokens to pretty much uh, work together as a team. Uh, it's very much uh, like using the power of friendship as a resource. So as you uh, take turns in combat, you will keep gaining uh, spirit tokens like this. When you have enough of this, you are able to release your uh, special attacks or special abilities. What happens if you, know, you have 
a friend who are really good at dealing damage and you need that person to defeat the enemy now or the whole room will explode. Everyone can pitch in. They can uh, just share their spirit token with your friend to let them unleash their special ability when it is needed. So there is a lot of like inter-character uh, inter -character interaction and they can just share their abilities and share their resources. That sort of thing. Our game promotes a lot of a team play and not just the setting, uh, the gameplay itself, everything uh, leads player into a sort of like collaborative sort of play mode. Uh, these are the QR codes where you can find our website, Backer Kit. Uh, this is where you can pre-order the game. It's going to be released uh, next year. The digital version is going to be released on February and the physical version will be released on July, late July. This is our Twitter and this is our Discord server. You can join us and play the game right now as part of part of our playtest community. Thanks for listening to my spiel. Uh, well, I think uh, this game is going to be really interesting. You should try it out. If you like uh, to play games and you like your friends, uh, that can be quite difficult nowadays. Uh, just spend some time with them to play Cosmic Alliance. สนับสนุนโดย OA Furniture More Than a Furniture ร้านบอร์ดเกมบอร์ดเกม Academy วงเวียนใหญ่ Vistas of Learning บริการออกแบบบอร์ดเกมและสื่อการเรียนรู้คุณภาพหากคุณเป็นแฟนเพจของบอร์ดเกม Vanilla และชอบดูหนังตอนนี้เรามีช่องรีวิวหนังด้วยนะติดตามได้ที่แฟนเพจ Facebook และ YouTube Channel ในชื่อ Movie Vanilla ฝากด้วยนะคะชอบสินค้าออนไลน์ง่ายๆแค่กดลิงก์ในคอมเมนต์เพื่อซัพพอร์ตช่องบอร์ดเกมวันเดอร์ค่ะตอนนี้ช่องบอร์ดเกมวันเดอร์ของเรามี t i k t o อกแล้วนะครับเข้ามาติดตามช่องเราด้วยนะครับเป็นกำลังใจให้หน่อยตอนนี้เพิ่งจะทำช่องยังไม่มีคนติดตามเลย <coughs> ก็เดี๋ยวเราเจอกันใน t i k t o อกนะจ๊ะ <coughs>